We're going to use a Python interpreter to make our computers say hello to the world. When we run this code, either locally on our machine or on a web interpreter, the words hello world appear on the screen, just like magic. Actually, it's not magic. <laughs> it's because print is a Python function that writes what we tell it to on the screen. Like the statement hello world, for example, the print function is part of the basic Python language. Whenever we use keywords or functions that are part of the language, we're using the programming language's syntax to tell the computer what to do. So what are functions and keywords? Functions are pieces of code that perform a unit of work. We'll talk a lot more about functions later on, and you'll even learn how to write your own. Keywords are reserved words that are used to construct instructions. These words are the core part of the language and can only be used in specific ways. Some examples include if, while, and for. We'll explain all of those and a bunch more later in the course. As we called out, the keywords and functions used in Python are what makes up the syntax of the language. Once we understand how they work, we can use them to construct more complex expressions that get the computer to do what we want it to do. Last off, notice how hello world is written between double quotation marks. Wrapping text in quotation marks indicates that the text is considered a string, which means it's text that will be manipulated by our script. In programming, any text that isn't inside quotation marks is considered part of the code. Now for a bit of trivia. Do you know why we greeted the whole world in our example? Well, printing hello world has been the traditional way to start learning a programming language since way back in the 70s when it was used as the first example in a famous programming book called the C programming language. That example looked like this. In Python, the hello world example is just one line. In C, it's three lines. In other languages, it could be even more. While learning to write hello world won't teach you the whole language, it gives you a first impression of how functions are used and how a program written in that language looks. 